Huh. That's all that was. I was just fooling around. No, you should be on Sweet Home Chicago if you downloaded them. And I'm going to share the screen so that you can see Sweet Home Chicago, because that's the kind of guy I am. And uh, we'll go up here somewhere. And uh, I think this was our first real blues shuffle blues song. We played a couple of blues songs, Kansas City and and uh, Walking to New Orleans before we got to Sweet Home Chicago. But Sweet Home Chicago was the first song that we did as a group where we did the blues shuffle. And that was a few years back. And so certainly one of my favorites. All of these songs are 12 bar blues, that genre, that progression, um, or some very subtle changes to it. And so if you take a look at Sweet, Sweet Home Chicago, that C A minor shuffle, that counts as a C, that comes as a note or a chord, and then the dot next to it. So that counts as the first beat, the dot next to it counts as the second beat, and then an apostrophe and a dot is two more beats, apostrophe and a dot is two more beats, apostrophe and a dot is two more beats. So that's already eight beats and that repeats four times. So there's 16 beats or four measures to start your 12 bar blues in you know, the, way, the way these songs are laid out. Four measures of your number one chord, your signature chord, in this case it's C, two measures of F, two measures of C that gets us, up, gets us up to eight measures, one measure of G7, one of F, that's 10, one of C, that's 11, and then two beats plus a rest or two on G7, and that's your 12 bar blues, and that's pretty typical, pretty typical setup. So, um, and we just do a little down, up, 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 down. Up. So if we we're going to do this nice and easy, we do one, just stay on the C. One, two, three, four. And we go to F. We go back to C, G7, F, and then hit that G7 twice. And that's, you know, that's how I think every single song that we're going to play today is laid out pretty similar to that. Now the shuffle. So some of you learned down, up, down, up. That's what I learned, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So the Ds in the down, up, down, up are your down beats, oddly enough. Um, and so your shuffle is if you took your index finger and you put it down, you keep your C on C and you put your index finger down where you would play your A minor, but you do it on that second beat. When you do the F, you put your ring finger down where you would play D minor on that second D. When you play G7, you either poof your ring finger out to that third fret on that second down, or you stick your pinky on that third fret, where you would normally play your C. Maintain your G7. Like that. And so the shuffle would go something like this. Now, a lot of us have also learned one and two and three and four. And so it would be on the two, your index finger on the C shuffle would go down on the two and four. One and two and three and four. And two, four, two, four, two, four. 
and your ring finger would go down to D minor on the two and the four when you're playing the F shuffle. One, two, four. G7, your pinky or your bottom finger would poof out to that third fret on the two and the four. One and two and three and four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four. And so the whole shuffle, regardless of what system you were raised on or if you were raised as young wolves, and had no system at all would sound like this one, two, three, four. And we keep it going. And then we go to F and back to C. G7, F. And C. And I said, come on, oh baby, don't you want to go? F, come on, oh baby, don't you want to see? Back to that G7 old place, sweet home, Chicago. And that is a 12 bar blues in Sweet Home Chicago. Now, what we didn't do last time is we didn't do the shuffle plus. The shuffle plus. Uh oh. So, on C, one and two end. Watch, me. I'll do it, I'll illustrate and then we'll do it nice and slow. So I'm doing one and two and with my index up there on the A minor, but then I'm doing three and on the top of the third fret G string, three and, and then I'm pulling it back off. So my four end is back with my index at the top. So one and, two and, reach over the top, three and, come back with your four and. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, now you might think, well, that's gonna be awfully complicated if I do that every single four beats. So a lot of times, if it's got eight beats, I will only do this one extra plus on the seventh beat. So I'll do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and seven like that so it adds an extra little nuance when you've only got four beats when you come back well let's do the f let's do the f now on the F, you don't need to add an extra finger. You can just poof out your ring finger. Let me illustrate once. One and two and three and four and five and six. Whoops, sorry. One and two and three, four and five and six and poof it back. One and two. and 
seven and eight. So on the seven, I'm pushing out, seventh beat, out to that third string, third fret. And on the eighth beat, I'm bringing it right back into the D minor again, nice and slow. practice at home and just have fun with until you get comfortable with the whole rhythm of the thing. As I explained in the beginning, you can just take the C and just take the F and do and just the G7 and just do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And it's perfectly good blues progression, blues song. You don't need to add the shuffle at all. When we get to the G7, of course, I don't want you to stretch on that seventh beat all the way out to the fifth fret. What I want you to do is down, up, down, up, down, up. Let me see. One and two and three and take a finger off instead of adding a finger. So we're gonna do down, up, on first down, Add your finger or push your finger out on the two, back to G7 on the three, pull off the bottom of your G7 on the four. So it would sound like this. And that's only if you wanna add that extra little salt and pepper. to F and then to C. Ha! Shuffle plus. So let's just do a little, come on now. How are we all doing out there? I only get four, I only get four pictures in once I share. I only get four pictures. And two of them look happy and two of them look sad. So I can't really tell. Okay, you're doing okay. All right. You can always unmute yourself and tell me that you're struggling or you got a question or whatever. So let's play this whole song through. A one, two, three, four. Come on, oh baby, don't you want to go? Come on, oh baby, don't you want to go? To the same old place, sweet home, Chicago. I said, come on. Well, six and three is 
was nine, nine and nine, eighteen. Look the brother, baby, and see what I've seen. Hide it, hey, baby, don't you want to go? Back to that same old place, sweet home, Chicago. I said, come on, baby, don't you want to go? Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Back to that same old place, sweet home. Chicago. Okay, then, how about that? How's everybody doing out there? Doing okay? Yay! Wonderful! Uh, hey, so nice, Bob. There's Thank you, Bob. There's some Lots of fun. There's yeah, some great. Uh, Bob, one, one request. That was fabulous. I'm still having trouble hearing your uke. Your voice is super loud, but your uke is really quiet. Do you have any way to put your uke closer to the mic or anything like that? Or just you know, I, rec harder? <laughs> I, re I recorded it today. I did a recording at 11 and it actually sounded okay um, on my recording. So I'm not sure uh, if it's not something in your system. It could be. Your voice is super loud and the uke is super soft. I don't know. I have another comment. When you're showing the detailed stuff on your fingers, I don't know if it's just me, but when you're showing the music, then you're small. Yes. And I would rather have you take up the whole screen and we look at the music later. Yes. Good comment. Okay. So any of that that you want me to go over again? Um, on that comment, um, Diana just made. Yes, yes. Uh, what I do is I put Bob on a speaker view. So then I see mostly him uh, in addition to the to the sheet. Actually, because I printed the sheet out, I, I even shoved the sheet all the way to the <laughs> So I can barely see the sheet, but I see more of Bob. Um, then the other comment I, I would like to add, Bob, is when you, you when you play the part where you do all the uh, the interlude, the all the just an instrumental. Can you call out the chords? Because I, I always get lost. If I'm uh, going to sing the song, <laughs> so I tried to do that at the beginning. And so no, it's, no. it's no, a no, lot. Not, not the singing part, the, the part that you just played the instrumental. Yeah, OK, I hear you. I hear you. OK, sure. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, let me see here. Yeah, there's a little bit of an instrumental on uh, Evil Gal Blues. So yeah, I can do that there. Yeah, we'll do that. Cool. So I'll Thank just you. sing softer, Yael, and uh, we'll see. What, we'll see <laughs> yeah. What uh, also, if you turn on your original sound. It is, it will, is, that, it so, is. Yeah. Trust me, cool. trust me on this. <laughs> you gotta, 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 gotta trust me on this one. I'm hearing both okay. It, uh, maybe it's some another problem. Yeah. Yep. Two. <laughs> yep. Very good. Let's see. Uh, the, the, what was I going to do? I was going to share the screen is what I was going to do. There's some chat stuff going on. Yes, I am using original sound. Sound is fine for me. Very clear directions. Thank you. Very good. We're all good. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. Let's share the screen. So, of course, um, it's not lost on me that the audience uh, appears to be uh, dominated by females. Uh, yes. <laughs> and that the blues songs that um, I'm more familiar with are dominated by males. And so I thought, you know, maybe I could go out there in the world and find um, a blues song that was more of a female oriented song and uh, there was uh, the Queen of Soul, not singing a soul song, but singing a blues song. And I said, well, that's, that answered my prayers right there. So we got uh, Evil Gal Blues. And it should look a lot like 
Sweet Home Chicago. So Sweet Home Chicago did um, verse, verse, chorus, interlude, chorus, uh, verse. And then this is doing verse, chorus, chorus, uh, interlude, uh, verse. So it's the same, you know, it's a variation on a theme. So, but very, very similar to exactly what we just did. Let's go through this um, intro. Let's do this intro. So again, we've got C. Two and three and four and five and six, seven and eight, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. So I don't know. Um, yeah, let's we'll do that. We'll do that real quick. What the heck? We got time. The whole idea about the Tuesday sessions is to have a conversation. So I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. Stop sharing. So hopefully you've got me on speaker view. If you don't, then you're never gonna see anything that I'm doing. And um, but we're just, again, we're just doing your index finger up there at the top of the second fret. And on the seventh beat, we're either pushing your index over and pushing it back or pushing your middle finger up there on that top of the third fret and then taking it off again. So it's one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three and four and five, six and seven and eight. And on your F, one and two and three and four and five and six. Push it out and back. One and two and three and four and five and six. Push it out and back. And on your G7. So you're just doing a walk down. except you're forming the whole chord. G7, plus one, take one away, take another one away. And that's where the F only has four beats. So you're either gonna do down, up, down, up on Or you're going to have to push out real quick. Uh, one and two and push and back. One and two and push and back. And then your C A minor is again. You're either going to have just do down up down up down up down up, or have to get in a real quick one and two and three and back. And then your G seven. And that's what we got there. One, two, three. Oh, I'm going to share, silly. Don't be so silly. I got you covered, Molly. I got you covered. That's not it. That's it. That's it. All right. One, two, three, four. Yes, I will. Well, I got men to the left. 
Men to my right, I got men every day, got men every night. I said I'm evil. You better not bother with me. Cause I'll empty your pockets and I'll fill you with misery. I get caviar for breakfast, champagne every night, and a midnight snack for every man in my sight. I said I'm evil. You better not bother with me. Cause I'll empty your pockets and I'll fill you with misery. If you want to be happy, you better not hang out with me. Said if you want to be happy, you better not bother with me. Cause I'll empty your pockets and I'll fill you with misery. If you want to be happy, you better not hang out with me. If you want to be happy, better not bother with me. Cause I'll empty your pockets and I'll fill you misery. That is the world debut of Evil Gal Blues. You were there. You were there for it. Never forget. Ooh. We'll never forget. Tuesday, the 2nd of February, 2021. Groundhog Day. Celebrating Groundhog Day, right. <laughs> exactly. So there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I read somewhere this was National Uke Day. You know, I saw that on, I have an ukulele calendar and I saw it on my calendar. I still don't know what it means except. I don't know either. We are meeting and playing. So I think we must be somehow uh, in the spirit of whatever National Uke Day is supposed to be in. So there we go. So then, so then there we were just fooling around. We've been playing Walking to New Orleans since about day one for Oakland Oak Jam. And um, I thought, well, you know, this, this progression is um, C, F, and G7. I wonder if we play any other songs that are C, F, and G7. And um, you know, there's walking to New Orleans. And so I started messing around with it. And so we've been playing this as uh, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, forever. And so I started going, well, let's see. started to apply the shuffle and I, it actually it works just fine. So it's another way of playing the song. So I thought, well, you know, we're going to have three bites of the apple here. And uh, if you don't get the shuffle after the third bite, then maybe I'll post this recording and maybe you'll have a chance to practice it some more. So anyway, so that C dot, dot, dot is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, four downs. And an apostrophe and three dots 
is another four beats. So that's eight beats of C, eight beats of F, four of G7, four of F, and eight beats of C. So there isn't that. There could be, but there isn't. So let's just try this. We'll see if we can get through it. If you see at the end, we do a acapella, kind of a slow um, retreat from walking to New Orleans with just single strums with those little slashes. One, two, three, four. F. G7. F. And C. It's time I'm walking to New Orleans. I'm walking to New Orleans. I need to pair of shoes when I get through walking these blues. When I get back to New Orleans, I got my suitcase in my hand. F ain't that a shame. I'm gonna go to G7. I'm leaving here today. Yes, I'm going back home to stay. So I'm walking to New Orleans. You used to be my honey. Till you spent all my money. No use for you to cry. I'll see you by and by. Cause I'm walking to New Orleans. Going to F. G7. And C. I got no time for talking. I got to keep on walking. New Orleans is my home. That's the reason why. Yes, I'm walking to New Orleans. I'm walking to New Orleans. Yes, I'm walking to New Orleans. I'm walking to New Orleans. Yes, I'm walking to New Orleans. Two, three, four. I'm walking to New Orleans. Two, three, four. So I'm walking to New Orleans. So how about them apples? So, you know, if you trip. Beat again? Sorry again? Would you mind demonstrating your strum again? Sure. So let's forget the left hand, left hand. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And because on the shuffle on that second down, you're adding a new note, I'm trying to emphasize that second down. Down, up, 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 down. Just to emphasize that new note. So then when you have your C, when you have your F, But your your right hand is just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Nothing, nothing particularly tricky about it, um, other than the sound that's happening as you manipulate your left hand and manipulate those new um, those new notes. Thanks for the question, Bob. I have a question. So Kathy? in the previous songs we were doing F to D minor, and this one, what were you doing F to D minor again? Or well, it depends. Reason? You know, I get lost. Yeah. And if I get lost, I just stay on F. Okay. If I do add anything, I do add the I do add the finger for D minor. Okay. Thank you. And then on the uh, where there was just uh, four beats. Uh, uh, I get through walking these blues on some of those four beat phrases I was pushing out and back on that third beat. 
it just depends on if my mind caught up with the rhythm and the feel of the whole thing. So uh, yeah, I'd, uh, I'm leaving here today. Yes, I'm going back home to stay. Walking to New Orleans. If I can remember, then I do the entire shuffle, the shuffle plus the extra note, the extra push out. If I can't remember, then I just do the shuffle. And if I really can't remember, then I just stay on the major chord, the C or the, the F or the G7. And that happens to me just like everybody else. So don't, you know, I'm no, I'm no master at this. I've just been futzing around with it uh, longer than most, most of the folks in the group have. So just want to share it with folks. It's always good to remember, you know, I'm a hack. I'm not a music teacher. I'm not a, I don't have a musical background. I've been studying music for 40 years. I'm a guy who had a guitar like every other guy in college to try to impress some people. And so I played a little bit of guitar, but gave it up maybe when I was 27 or 28. I picked up the ukulele five years ago, maybe. So I'm just, you know, I'm on the same path and journey as everybody else, maybe. I play more every day than you do, or maybe I've been playing another year or two longer. Um, and then when you try to share it with folks, of course, you always have to try and learn it better. Um, so that always helps, but I'm a hack. So if you wanna try to learn how to play a song, that's what I'm here for, to try to help you learn how to play a song. If you want to learn music and dive deep and get up the neck and do all of these same notes and chords um, in other positions on the neck, that's what ukulele is for. That's the beauty of having somebody like Lenny in the Bay Area and doing three sessions a week. I mean, he's a gift. So just never forget the limits of where I'm going to be able to take the ukulele and show you what to do with it. Um, hopefully it'll always be something a little bit new or a song that you remember from way back when, but nobody else is playing. You know, that's, that's kind of where my niche is. Um, but uh, I, I screw up just as often as everybody else because that's the way it is. Thanks, Kathy. If you could mute yourself, that'd be great. Maybe you did. Okay, that's great. I'm gonna mute everybody just for fun. So that was our um, C, 12 bar blues. Let's take a look at the A. What happens when we go to A? Here we go. Hank Williams wrote a song. George Thorogood took it and he electrified it. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay, okay. So A, you know, A is the one now because we're in the key of A. Two, three, four, A, B, C, D. D is the four, E is the five. So let's start with my thumb. Let's start over here just to confuse myself. One, A, B, C, D, four, E, five. One, four, five. So you gotta do A, D, E. Remember we did C, F, and G7. Now we're doing A, D, and E7. Method to the Madness. Sixteen beats, four measures. D. And back to A. Then to E7. And to D. have E7 once here because there's a riff and so I didn't want to make it too complicated but you can see the form is exactly the same as the form that we just did with the previous three songs it's just in a different key coming in last night wait a second wait a second wait a second I have music I have music I'm saying it low or high. I'm going to go high and we'll see what happens. One, two, 
three, four, come in last night, half past ten, that baby of mine wouldn't let me in, so move it on over, move it on over, move it on over, move it on over, move over, little dog, cause the big dog's moving in. She's changed the lock on my front door. My door key don't fit no more. So get it on over, move it on over. Scoot it on over, move it on over. Move over, skinny dogs, fat dogs, moving in. So same progression, same setup. Same number of beats per chord, same, same turnaround. If you wanted to do your shuffle, you'd play A and you would put your finger down on that second string, second fret. So that would be uh, F sharp minor. I don't play the A. Uh, let's do it how most of you do it. So your ring finger would go on that second string. So it's a G7, turns into a G7 shaped chord, but just one string up. So you've got your A. Oh yeah, I was gonna stop sharing when I did that, wasn't I? Wasn't I gonna do that? Yeah, there, okay. And you can add an extra note there if you want to push out at the bottom of your F sharp minor, you can do that. And then on your D, you just add it extra finger so you're playing B minor seven. It's not quite as easy or, or um, I don't want to say melodic because it should be, in terms of melody, should be exactly the same as in the other key, but not quite as easy. So I just play it, I just play it kind of fun uh, just with the major chords. Let's see what we got here. Let's share that screen. So if you want to futz around with that and you like that key and you like that shuffle, then that's great. But we'll just go down to that third fret. Uh, one, two, three. This dog house here is mighty small, but it's better than no house at all. So ease it on over, move it on over. Toad it on over, move it on over. Move over, old dog, cause the new dog's moving in. Now the riff, okay, the riff. So you got your, you got your E7 formed, right? So you just take your bottom two fingers of your E7. I was gonna stop sharing, wasn't I? <laughs> just take the bottom two fingers of your E7 and you push them out to the fourth fret. So you still got the same two fingers. Don't take your index finger off. Don't use your index finger. Don't use your index finger. You, all you want is two fingers on the board. You don't want three fingers on the board. Just two fingers, right? Just two fingers. So you had E7. So all I'm saying is that you've got the two fingers you need in the E7, get rid of your index finger, shove your other two fingers down to the fourth fret, and you do three with your thumb, third string, first string, second string. Three, one, two. This is like a really nice door chime that you just bought from Home Depot. So I'm doing thumb, middle, index. Taking those two fingers, taking them to the third fret. Taking those two fingers, taking the second fret. 
that should be an E minor seven for most of you playing at home. Hitting E seven twice, and then an A to resolve. So we ended with, uh, let's do the, uh, whatever the move over old dog, the last line, third, uh, third verse. Move over old dog, there's a new dog moving in. I didn't remember to share, Bob. Sorry again? You don't have the music up. Don't you hate that? Don't you hate that? I, I actually, I enjoy jumping back and forth. So let's take a look at move over old dog because the new dog's moving in. So we'll do three, four. Move over old dog because the new dog's moving in. You hit the E7, slide the two fingers down. Three, one, two, three, one, two. Unfortunately, because it's the kind of guy I am, I didn't mute everybody. So, okay, so we're good. So now, now that you got all the pieces, let's see what we can do with that fourth, fourth verse, fourth verse. She told me not to play around. One, two, three, four. Told me not to play around, but I done let the deal go down. So pack it on over, move it on over, told it on over, move it on over, move over little dog, cause a big dog moving in. You on the fourth fret? Three, one, two. Fifth verse. She won me once, she won me twice, but I don't take no one's advice, so scratch it on over. Toad it on over, move it on over, move over that nice dog, cause a mad dog's moving in. Close it off with the first verse, playing again. One, two, three, four. Came in last night, half past ten. That baby of mine wouldn't let me in. So move it on over, move it on over, move it on over, move it on over. Move over, little dog, because a big dog moving in. Slide it down. Now, of course, the idea is that over time that you would you would work on that ending and you would get it a little bit snappier, a little bit quicker. So you would hit the E7 and you get done. something like that. That's what you would want to kind of aspire to over time. As you hit that E7, you slide. But we're all at home entertaining ourselves. There was somebody on some uh, program that I listened to a couple of weeks ago who was explaining, you know, you're going through some intricate, and maybe it's super simple, but it's new to you kind of progression or whatever, you take it as absolutely slow as you need to, to get it right and sounding good and get the timing right, even if the timing is super slow. So you hit the E7, you go excruciatingly slow down to that fourth fret, super slow you go. Pull your fingers up to the third fret. Pull them up to the second fret. Hit the E7 twice. Hit the A. And 
get it so that you say to yourself, you know what, that actually sounds pretty good. And then you work on the speed. Then you go, okay, I'm gonna go a little bit faster. I'm just gonna work on getting those two fingers down to the fourth fret. Okay, I like that. Now I'm gonna just gonna, just on the fourth fret, I'm gonna do three, one, two. Can I do that any quicker? That was a little quicker. Can I do it quicker than that? That wasn't good because I missed that bottom string. You want a nice clean tone on each of the three strings or you know, you lose the effect of the whole, of the whole thing of my thing of my baby. And I used to teach folks, you know, if you go so fast that you just make a total mess out of something that you're trying to learn. And then you go back to a reasonable speed. It, you start to get it and make it sound better. So I encourage people to go fast and screw up and then back up on your speed and get it to a place where you like practicing it and like the way it sounds. Gee, look at the time. We better play Kansas City, at least. Let's play Kansas City. We'll call it a day. That's a lot to absorb for one day. Let's do this. Because I'm going to Kansas City. Now with Kansas City, Kansas City, now we introduce a new strum pattern. And we're no longer, you know, doing a shuffle. We're just kind of having fun with a strum pattern. And uh, let's see what we got. I think we're okay there, huh? Let's do that. Let's do that. And Kansas City goes back almost with Oakland Nuke Jam, almost as far as uh, walking to New Orleans. Sweet home, Chicago. I updated those chord charts. They aren't wacky like this one. I like to show you these wacky chord charts once in a while because it takes us back to our roots. So if you see the strum up in the upper right hand corner, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. And you may or may not have noticed, may have commented on, picked up on, I'm dropping that last up. If your hand happens to do that last up, terrific. I like to have a little bit of time to regroup for the next strum. Down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down. You're throwing that last up and that your next strum pattern is a little bit rushed. If it's got a two next to it, that means two measures. If it's got a one next to it, that means one measure. It's got two slashes, it means, which by now you are professionals at. I dropped the ones in that uh, first verse. I don't ask me why, but that second line, E7 and D7, that's one and A are all one measure each. And same thing in the fourth line, one measure each. A, mute scratch, might, might take a train, might take a plane. So I'm just hitting the A once and then continuing the strum with the strings muted. If I have to walk, I'm going just the same. I'm going to Kansas City Yard. That's what all of that means. You hit the A and keep strumming. You got two extra fingers just hanging out there. Don't let them go all vestigial on you. Use them, just drop them down on the strings and mute. Now, when we get to the end, you're gonna see a very, very similar. We just spent 15 minutes on three, one, two, uh, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. This time we're gonna do three, one, three. 
three, one, three. And you will be absolutely professional on that. One, two, three, four. A7. D7. And A. D7, one measure. D7, one measure. So mahalo and thank you. All that stuff. Give you something yeah. to practice. Thank you. Great fun today. Thank you. Thank you Bob. Thank you, Bob. Great to have you with us, Diane. Thanks for the thanks for the thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks Bob. Thank hey, you, Bob. So Hi, Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're so welcome. Have a great day out there. Uh, Can't wait I, to focus with your recording. Me too, Bob. Hey, I have to turn off the recording, don't I? That's right. <laughs> there it is. Thanks, Bob. <laughs>